Hi Capricorn, it's Opulent Spiritual, another reading. So let's find out what's going on for you for August. Yes, this is for August 2024. Let's find out what August is blessing you with. Because I hope it's better, baby. Because you've been going through a lot. Look at what's over here. Look at what's over here. When did this get here? You have the moon here. I just noticed that right now. And I have coffee in my nails. The moon. Things are being revealed. There's a lot of things hidden from you right now, but it will be revealed to you. I don't know why that was over there. But there's nothing like coincidences on Opulent Spiritual's channel. Things are going to be revealed to you. I'm sorry, I, I hit the desk. So... So this cup, right? The thing about this cup, I didn't open it yet. Like I never do. Only with you guys, I see it just like you guys. Um, I know when I was doing the coffee in this one, there was barely any water left. So I'm curious to see. This is the only cup that had that. Let's find out why. Okay, let's see. All right, so you had, okay, so you have some splatters here. You have some money here. All right, you have definitely a surprise here that has to do with abundance, big money. This could be all of a sudden you win the lottery. All of a sudden you get tipped a bunch of money one day this month. All of a sudden you get an, an inheritance from someone that you never even knew you even had in your family. You know what I mean? This is like a surprise of a lifetime here. Could be connected to that full moon that just passed. Chinese year of the rabbit, Aries, could be connected to all those eclipses. For some reason, now you're reaping the reward of it. So here's your cup. Very interesting cup. Hmm. So what I'm seeing here is that you're going to be communicating the whole month around a lot of people you're talking to, a lot of communication here between work, relationships, everybody, everything in your life that you have to use your mouth to talk or even the computer to talk back and forth, everything. You're going to be talking a lot connected to obviously like your money. But there's something with like a pillowcase here, something about travel, like you're not really going to go home to sleep. You're going to be going other places here. Okay, so we have Chinese year of the goat here. And we have someone here, look. Someone not good here. They're very envious of you. Leo, letter A, Taurus. There's an envy here and number five, change. This has to do with the change that you're going through. This person, whoever this is, they're jealous that you moved on, that you're going through this change without them. I'm seeing Chinese ear of the dog here, Scorpio. But yeah, you have envy here, big time envy. Someone in particular, just one particular person is jealous that you're getting this money. They're not happy for you. New path opening up for you, connected to a victory here, and it's in divine timing. And it also has to do with, um, I'm getting that, I don't know what it's called, but it's like that strawberry candy that like grandmas give you and stuff like that. Like my vava would give that to me and my sister, but I don't know what it's called. But strawberries for me represent abundance, fertility, desire, passion, sexual energy here. So maybe you're like jumping into a relationship here. All of a sudden, you have Chinese year of the rabbit, Aries, but you have someone here that's catching a ball. They're like catching a ball here. So that could be you catching an opportunity like right in the nick of time because it's literally with this path. It's like you're about to catch this opportunity. Yeah, it's like an opportunity of a lifetime. I'm also seeing uh, a lion on top of a cliff. 
you know, like Lion King type of thing. Leo, it's right here. Leo season, Leo right here. You're about to catch this. And it's just for you. Chinese ear of the horse, Chinese ear of the snake, Cancer, Gemini, M, E, B. And there's a spinner here. And you're definitely saying no to somebody over here. And they're they're like, they can't handle this rejection. They're like, oh my gosh, did Capricorn just reject me? Like, literally, life is over. Like, Aries is here. This is like rejection beyond. Letter E. You have Scorpio here as well. There's someone that is going to talk to you from the past. And this is someone that has feelings for you. So get ready for that. That's happening. <laughs> and I'm hearing, can I get a break? No, you can't because uh, this is life. Life is what's hitting you right now with this shit. All right. Chinese ear of the dragon. There's something about karate here. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you do karate or you are into tai chi, martial arts, baby. Moving the body, but like with your chi. You know what I mean? Like focused. Maybe you're into Cobra Kai. I don't know. That's like one of my favorite shows ever. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. Are you in Miyagi-Do or Cobra Kai? Comment down below. I'm in Miyagi-Do, of course. All right, baby. And then we see that towards the middle, like the beginning middle of the month, that's when everything's going to start breaking out. Like... I'm seeing you being invited to things, going out to dinner with people, work stuff, like work opportunities, lunch functions. Like you're working so hard here, like like a lot of working stuff, a lot of, you know, meeting people, going on dates, you know, meeting up with your family, meeting up with your friends, la la. Like that's why I think that was on the outside, that sleeping bag, because you're really not going to be home ever this month. Like this month, you're going to be like always out and about like doing stuff. There's a candy cane here. So that represents like, you know, happiness. And, you know, to me, it's like exciting, especially, you know, how the candy cane is like striped like that. And it's something it could be representing something coming back around as well. Maybe you're excited for something coming back around. I'm also seeing someone looking down and they're disappointed. It's like the four of cups here. But like the universe is bringing this opportunity to you when you are disappointed and just out of luck, you feel like, oh, you know, my life's just not that great and blah, blah, blah. Something about 82 here could be significant, which is Chinese year of the dog. This could be an opportunity coming from someone new, like a new friend, new business partner, or just someone in passing that you're like meeting, letter T, letter S, letter J. We have Earth energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, like you. We have Chinese here, the goat, Cancer here, and Leo. There's so much desire here, bro. Like, you're desiring so much and you're achieving your goals. Like, it's so good. 51 is here and number seven, freedom. Chinese ear of the horse. Like, you're just going to such a free time. Like, you feel free. This is interesting. You have a triangle here. Hmm. Hold on. Let me see. Chinese ear of the dragon. Taurus. There's a triangle situation here. Could have to do with your workspace. Either this is like a work romance or something, or you're working with two other people and you guys are a team of three and it's very important. I am seeing love here with two people. H. Hmm, very interesting. Capricorn. What is going on? I'm seeing number 30 here, letter F. And there's a, a a flower windmill. It's like, you know, a flower with like a windmill on it. So I'm telling you, something is coming back around. And it's very clear path here. 
and another confirmation with this contract documents you're going to be signing. Wow, this is like big news. Big documents you need to sign. I'm seeing Chinese ear of the goat, Chinese ear of the rat. The first is going to be significant, like um, the first of the month. Or something is coming back around. Chinese ear of the dog. Gemini, Scorpio, and Taurus here. Something you're signing off on. Could be a new job, raise, new home. Hmm. See, right here, that's you. And you're leaving. It's the Eight of Cups. You finally feel like you graduated or you're leaving the situation. Whatever the situation is, you're leaving it now. Because it's giving me like the Eight of Cups. It's leaving the past behind for good. At the end of the month, you're getting a key. Something connected to paradise here. Your paradise. So whatever your paradise is, that's what you're receiving. And you're completing a cycle here. Cycle is done. Yeah, and this is connecting to a one particular path that's very powerful here. And this is your life per per purpose, life person as well. <laughs> so you could be meeting like the love of your life this month. But this is like your north node, fate and destiny here connected to the new moon and full moon of this month. Now that I'm looking at this like this, it kind of looks like a squirrel to me. But it's not nervous or anything like that. It also has been really working really hard. Storing all these acorns and everything. So you've been working very hard saving your money. You know, just working very hard in general. With all your finances and stuff like that. You've been saving your money and just focused on you and your career and work. And now all this other stuff's happening. But it's part of your purpose here in this life. So get ready, baby, because that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, and it's coming in very quickly here, so get excited. Yeah, there could be someone that's like a little bit of a creeper or something, you know? Like they're like watching you. Yeah, because I'm hearing, I'm a creep. Yeah, just give it on the down low. And then, uh, and then, and then, uh, all around, all around, all around. I don't know, maybe there's someone, or you're that person that's like creeping around. I just picked this up the King of Swords. Maybe this is someone that's not talking to you or like maybe you think this person's a cheater. I'm not really sure. Ooh, yellow doll. Interesting. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but I guess that was meant to be. What are you gonna do? Life goes on. Around, 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 baby. Around, around, around. Yeah. All right, and let me get some zodiac signs that you could be dealing with. Okay, definitely. Sorry, that one flipped already. Aquarius. So there could be surprises with your home and self. Like that's really going to surprise you here. All right, let's see what's going on.
been through so many things. All right, so love and relationships. Maybe you know someone's cheat on you. Look, we have the moon. It came up again. Is that not like beyond? So whatever this is that's hidden from you in love and relationships, you're going to find out right now, this month. And you're going to be pleasantly surprised. You could be asked out on a date and it's going to be very lighthearted. Maybe this is going to be like a friend date or something or like you're going to start off as friends first. It's going to be easy. Francesca. Yeah, you're going to a brand new cycle with love here. It could be with a water sign. Or an earth sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, it's in divine timing, but it's this month. But we don't know which day. Spirit won't reveal, baby. It's a surprise. You have pets. Getting a new pet. Giving a current pet more love. Wow, a little pet. Sagittarius. Wow, that's really interesting. So you could have Sagittarius or you're, you know, getting together with a Sagittarius. Grasshopper. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Wow. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Hmm. And that's because you have a few options. So use that intuition. New home. Moving is a step in the right direction for you. You're moving in with somebody in your love life or you're moving to a new location. There's something about moving here in your, in your love and relationship spring. Maybe this already happened You're, or next spring is significant for this. Your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. Processing emotions is the step one to healing them. Change is coming. Here we go. Spirit's already warning you in a good way. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, baby. All right. Work and money. We have F. H. You have ice cream again. Maybe you're going to be indulging. We have uh, the daisy here. So something you're being seen as very attractive and you're attracting a lot of money. With your work and money here, you're, you're very attractive. You're attracting a lot. Yeah, and you're going to be very playful, having fun. Chinese Zero, the rabbit, Gemini, and Aries. Something with a Gemini is going to be significant with this. You have number nine. Chinese year of the monkey, you have 90. Virgo, new cycle with your money too. So not only are you having a new cycle with love, new cycle with your money, big money. Big money coming in. Money problems because maybe you've been having money problems, but that's all changing here. Mercury retrograde, something's coming back around. Electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. So review everything. Cancer, maybe since July. Or with the cancer. Bear, danger, especially in money matters. Okay, something with your money here. Spirit's um, trying to protect you. You know, don't take a risk, maybe. Pregnancy here. The birth of a child brings great blessings to you in the world. This has to do with your money and finances. Something new you're starting. Be careful with your money and finances. Like, look at everything first. We have solar plexus opening and active. High energy time, high manifestation. You're manifesting a lot right now. Creating something of value could be connected to life purpose, which it is. Door opening, inner child healing, timing summer, food, yellow foods. You're, so whatever money problems you've been dealing with and whatever, that's all going away because you're you're receiving a great opportunity here right now. Maybe cancer season, you didn't, you were not doing well, but now everything's changing. You're going to heal that. News and spiritual news. Let's see. Seven of Wands in reverse, so that's good. You're not blocked anymore. You're not being blocked. We have five, five. Look at this. 55, you could be seeing five, five, five a lot. That means big major changes in your life. 34, lucky is the state of mind. P, M, something at night, 5 p.m. Is going to be significant. There's news here. Could be coming from a Sagittarius. Yeah, something that's going to make you feel secure and stable, like right here, grounded, this news you're receiving. So that's really good. Okay, challenges. 
make a decision, work on inner healing, Virgo, hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally, teardrops, great personal sorrow, get some exercise. As your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. Katana. Air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Masculine energy. Cutting ties no longer re resonates. Start a new path. Soul purpose. A lot of soul purpose stuff here. Lucky. Okay. Home and self. We have number one. The first. Chinese ear of... The rat and you, Capricorn. E, B, Deb, Ebba, something with a water sign. But you're also transcending. You're, you're moving in the right direction here. You're on the right path. Ace of Cups, a brand new beginning. An emotional fulfillment here you're getting with either yourself or home or both. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you could be dealing with as well. Ten of Cups, look at this. Your home is going to be so beautiful here. Your home life, everything that's happening here is going to be beyond. Death. Yeah, there's a huge change with this. This is what I'm saying. Huge effing change with this. Scorpio energy. Big, major change here. Like, once it happens, there's no going back to anything else. Her feelings, her feeling, manifest. Commitment, things are getting serious. Yeah, things are getting serious now. You could be moving in with somebody. Aquarius here, September. Virgo, Libra, spiritual teacher. Your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. Pentacle, being divinely guided. Protected by spirit and the universe. All elements involved. Trust your path. Number four. The fourth can be significant. Chinese year of the rabbit or Aries. Or four days, four weeks. But that's all I have for you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it brought you a lot of clarity. Let me know. Good luck with everything. Like, share, and subscribe, baby. And I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.